Hey guys, what do you got when you got an old, old home built solar panel? Yeah, I did good. And you got. Oh, looks like an empty battery case. We've got a video coming on that next. We got an air conditioner sitting here running right now, nice and cool. Actually, very cool. Compressor running. We got some special stuff here. I've got old batteries that were burnt up, sent to me. And then they sent me a replacement so I can maybe get some parts out of it. And we got this little sweet inverter right now running everything, running that air conditioner, running that with that 1,691 surge off of this junk. How'd I do it? All right, look below the video for links, especially this thing. This thing is good. And I'll put you links to a couple of few different batteries I've studied and found out better deals on. We're gonna tell you what went wrong in that brand new Chins battery Y'all stay tuned. Let's go right now. Some videos back, I showed y'all a video of a fail ship. There was a blown up battery. There's its case. See? And I want to show you something that's kind of familiar looking. And there's going to be another video here coming up real quick, but different brand, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to discuss the difference between what's called a brand and a maker. This is real quick, and then we're going to get back over here on this. All right. <laughs> familiar? Now, this one has vents in it, but familiar in every way. About... On my math, after spending two days studying it, if you go to Amazon or eBay, about 85% of every single lithium iron phosphate battery that you buy is made by the same people. 60 different brands. They're all made by the same people, and they're adapted a little bit so that you don't know that. This battery here, um, blew up in shipping. So the guy says, oh, we're so sorry. <laughs> we'll send you another battery that it's, it's probably okay, but you can take two because you're good at this and make one. I guess, you know, they're not liking to refund these, right? So I said, whatever. I figured the worst case scenario is I'll be able to recover these two or at least get enough to make one, two, three. See? So I agreed. And I got it. I got this thing here for a $35 discount. And I am glad I bought it because it's a good little inverter. But I studied these and I looked at a difference in design. So this is the same company that manufactures the CNSWI power inverters. They are the ones that make these. So you got to know when you open it up, and I showed you on a previous video, I opened this up, it was worth it. So if you look below the video and I put links to where I find things, it's because I'm one of those crazy suckers that spends a lot of time looking at everything from the schematics. I read the customer reviews, and then it's obvious. Man, I don't know if you guys are any good at that. It's obvious which one is bought and paid for and which one isn't. All right, and then there's reviews that are done by the competitors. They'll buy the product, they'll burn the product, they'll toast it, they'll, they'll break it, they'll screw it up in shipping, whatever, and then they'll put a review on there. So you got to weed through a lot of that. Amazon, eBay, you know, all of them, they're all notorious. There's even professional review sites now. They pay you. I got an email from them. They offered me money, and I'm like, well, the last time Satan called on me, I ignored him, and I'm going to do it to you this time. I just don't play it. I, I'm, I'm one of those people that if I've got 75 bucks and i got to scrape together 25 more dollars to buy something, that's how it is. Um, I got a hell of a lot of stuff, but I worked years making good money in the last two, you know, courtesy of the pumpkin patch we called Washington, D.C. I don't make any money anymore, really. So I have to just pinch them pennies until Lincoln literally pisses himself. Now, these batteries here are made by Top 
band, B-A-N-D. Now that's a provider for motive power. Forklifts, uh, mainly these, these uh, I don't know if you've ever seen them, they're pallet jacks, but they're battery powered. Those pallet jacks over in China and, and those little robots that run around in the warehouses, that's what these run on. So the likelihood of this being a used battery was pretty high to start with. You know, that's what they're repackaging. So, so they got little shops over there. They typically hire Vietnamese labor in China because, hell, believe it or not, they're cheaper than Chinese people to do this. Sweatshops. And they'll assemble these. That's why the work can be so sloppy. This is a, this is a BMS out of the battery that replaced that one. It is that brand here. You're going to see in a video coming up next what happened. It's going to shock you, uh, and, and it's stupid, but this little tiny three-eighths of a cent in yuan cost, China, was causing this BMS, because I, I took it and, and shorted it back, you know, and the battery started working. But I had to tear the whole damn battery apart, which you will see in the video. <laughs> $700 battery, two cent item, maybe three cents, if you're lucky. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I did with these batteries. These are the top band batteries, and I took these batteries here, and I took one of my first solar panels I ever built. I was good at that at one time. It's 20 years old now. And I took that solar panel, and it's got an efficiency rating of like 0.07 nowadays <laughs> compared to what's out there. And I hooked it up to two cells at a time, like that, okay? So it was charging, I'm sorry, like that, two cells at a time, and or here and here, you know. And it allowed the sun to push power. It's only, that's only 12 watt, okay? So it's uh, seven eighths of an amp. And I left this out here. So that's why it's been a while since I did this video or since I did the last video before you're seeing these again. It took a month of cycling that around, cycling it around, moving it around. Now we're going to show you the results. I've recovered these batteries. I had a couple of these that were just, let's see, I marked them. I think my tape might have covered. Oh, by the way, um, uh, brought to you by the promo professionals of Las Vegas. No, I'm just giving you shit. Um, you guys don't go spend your money on that crap from from China that uh, they used to tape these batteries up, you know, the wrap for them. Man, don't waste your money. This stuff here is called Sure Tape. It is made, I don't know if you can read that, in the USA, Hencho USA, made in America, guys. See right there? made in America. Go get you some sure tape. I'll put a link below the video to this stuff. And go buy you some sure tape. It is mylar tape. Non-electric, non-electrolytic. You ain't going to use electric electrical tape. It's not doesn't work like that. It's for duct work. But it now I did a I'll admit I did a crappy job here. Um I was working single-handed and I I cracked bone in my other finger over here, and so I wasn't working too fast. This battery here had a bad cell in it when I got it. This is the, his replacement battery he sent me. These are the ones that toasted right here. But we're going to show you the results. So don't don't give up on these batteries, in other words, is what I'm saying, if you get one that's crap fest. Um, you can't see these BMSs in here, but I'm going to put you a link to them. Now, it'll look different in the picture, in that link. It looked different, but it is this one, and it has the little lights that light up across here where it shows you it's actively balancing. It is 100 amp. It does have the heavy, heavy. Let's see if I can get that light on there. Um, see, it has the heavy connections right there on the, on the board, and um, it is uh, um, more than enough capable compared to a lot. Of, here's Here, let me show you this. Because y'all don't get to see this in pictures. So let me grab one of these. Um, I got a few of these just to kind of size them up and see what the difference was. All right, so that little thing right there is $15. 
these are 16. In fact, on Amazon, these are like 18 bucks. Look at my hand here. It's not even the size of a pack of cigarettes. It's smaller. See, look at this. You see that? That's claimed to be 100 amp. You can see that little thin stuff in there? Nothing there. Not even clad on the back. This has got the uh, uh, copper clad and extra, extra uh, heavy solder layering for the amperage. So a buck more and you get this. So look for that link to that one. This is, let's see if I can find it where it says it so you'll know. Um, it says 100 amp. Let's see if I got the uh, little paperwork for it. Here comes its massive manual that came with it. There's its massive manual. Um, 100 amp. See right there, 100 amp. Right there. And what we call that in Texas is bullshit. I wouldn't consider putting 60 amps through that for any period of time. Now, maybe 40 amps continuous, probably. This one here, it's 100 amp. I guarantee you it'll peak at 130 and it'll run 100 continuous. No fear. So, sorry about that. So, we're going to go ahead and turn that light back off because it's kind of a pain in the ass. And we're going to fire up this little alpha. Here in, the, here in the, a video you're going to be seeing in a day um, or later, you will see a video that's going to show you how this battery here failed, how it failed compared to the the uh, the um, Power Queen battery whooped the crap out of a 200 amp Chins battery. And pay attention to what I tell you in the video so you'll understand. All right, so we're going to get this fired up. Boom. There it goes in the AC current, but, and it's, it's, eh, it's close. So here we'll fire this up. And I will get the fan on high. Oop, that's low. <laughs> Auto rule high. So right now it's pulling, yeah, about 75 watts. And then we're going to kick on, I'm going to go down now. Now this is... This thing here, I want you to look. Now, if you go and look at the other videos, you'll see where all this data come from. This air conditioner has 378 run watts. This one has 1,691 starting watts. It takes that much power to start this air conditioner. That's the compressor running in it. So we're gonna go down further and you're gonna hear it. I hope, let me put it up here. So you guys can hear this. I'm hitting the button going down. that can you hear it look at close up look inside the work into that baby all right so she's running and now this little alpha this little alpha that's 175 80 bucks this little alpha is running that air conditioner and it's doing it off of two recovered batteries failed batteries now you can contact people that do the recovery on these batteries. I'd say these batteries ain't new. I'd say that they, they the little robots that run around and move things around in the factory or the little forklifts that are powered and the carts in the factories, that's where these kind of come from. Top Band is known for that as a product. 99% um, of the time when somebody tells you you're getting an EVE battery, you're getting screwed. There's the, the EVE battery is contracted out to motive power industries all over the world. They don't make enough to supply what you think you're buying. Okay. Um, it's like this battery right here, a real genuine EVE battery for one. Can they cook the QR codes? Can they cook them? Can they take that QR code and can they cook that in the data bank? Are you stupid? Of course they can. They create it. So when you get this QR code, you go, I got a QR code, proves everything. That's kind of like saying, yeah, the guy that had four aces up his sleeve when I had two in my hand, he proved everything. It's just, you're being, you're being screwed, man. Don't be stupid. The QR code means nothing. It's, it's put in from a factory that's selling you a product that might not be what you're buying, and they need to cover their tracks, and it's computer-generated crap anyhow.
don't trust it. I don't care. I, I know somebody's gonna say, but but I bought my stuff and it's gonna make me look bad. No, man, it's not. It's not what it looks like. That QR code data is whatever they want it to be. Were you there? Were you there in that factory? No. So this kind of stuff, forget about it. This manufacturing lot numbers, they skip around like unbelievable. And why would that be that way? Because there's 28 of these, 28 of these. And if you have enough of them, you can kind of come up with a string of numbers. <laughs> there's 28 of these that's in one of those uh, powered forklifts. That's 28 of those. So, um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, there's 56. There's 28 and there's 28. So uh, that's in the, in, the, in the side saddles of it. So there's 56 in a forklift, an electric forklift in China. And they use them for a year. They jerk them out. Their company writes it all off. The CCP banks give them more money to buy from local factory, blah, blah, blah. It's all that shit. I know a lot about the place. So what you're looking at here is you're looking at batteries that were recovered. I balanced them. It took a lot of effort to do it, and that's how you do it. So if you got a battery cell that's near or close to dead and your BMS failed, take a solar panel of about 10 to 15 watts and use it um, like I did where I used it on two cells, so I used it on 6.4 volts at a time. All right, so it'll make that cell drop. It'll make, it'll make your, your panel come down real low. Don't go to a 30-watt panel and do that. That ain't going to be nice. Do it with a, like a 10 or 15-watt solar panel, cheap one. And you can start to recover the battery by re-energizing the electrons. All right, guys, what do you think? Pretty good save, huh? They thought they were screwing me. Bad idea. Bad idea. Now we got to deal with that. They're supposed to send me one, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. All right.